In this session, we will talk about addressing limitations of distributed file system. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. From the previous sessions, we understand that distributed file system was created to hold large amount of data and to serve large number of clients. And uh, network file system is one of the most popular type of distributed file system in use. However, it has some limitations. It can hold limited amount of data, it does not offer any protection against hardware failures and it could result in possible network overloads. Hadoop addresses all those limitations. You can store large amount of data using Hadoop. It offers excellent hardware failure protection and also it provides very fast access to the data. Hadoop is designed to address big data issues, so the data you could store using Hadoop could go in terabytes and petabytes. The way it lets you store large amount of data is by spreading the data across large number of machines. And even the file size it supports is much larger than what you can store using distributed file system. Scalability is there. For most features, you can add more machines to get more storage space. In Hadoop, you are talking about multiple machines in a cluster, not like distributed file system which is going against only one computer. Since Hadoop uses multiple computers in a cluster, so therefore hardware failure is unavoidable. Computers will fail, sometimes randomly across the cluster, and sometimes the whole rack will fail. Rack s holds more than one computer and some hardware failures are related to the rack itself rather than the computer. So that is why to cope with this problem Hadoop is designed to offer excellent hardware failure protection. It splits the file that you're storing in Hadoop file system into equal parts or pieces and it will send these parts to different computers. Not only that, it will make copies of each part by default, the number of copies are set to three. You can increase or decrease the size. And so your file, which is broken into pieces, and each piece has been copied over three times, and all these pieces, the original ones and cloned, are spread all over your cluster. So this results into the hardware failure protection system will still keep on running while s some computers have failed you'll get a chance to replace those computers or fix those computers now it is designed to give you super fast access to the data okay and to serve large number of clients the scalability is there if you want to serve more clients and you see some s performance issues you can add more computers so scalability is the performance is directly proportional to the number of computers.